good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner, welcome back to my Warframe guide. On this video we will talk about clans and trading. There are many different types of items on the game's marketplace as we've seen before. You can buy the crafted items or their blueprints which you will then have to craft. One thing I haven't mentioned before is that weapons and warframes that you buy with platinum not only come with their own slots, but with an already installed Orokin Catalyst or Reactor. There are some weapons and warframes in the market that do not have a blueprint. Take this Argonac for example. This is a clan research weapon. Clans have the ability to research some weapons to craft. All they need are resources, donated by their members, to unlock the weapon and then they have it forever. Not in a clan, just ask in recruiting chats or the Warframe forums. When you get a clan invitation though, you won't be able to immediately access the clan dojo. First you need to get the clan key blueprint from the market and craft it in your foundry. After it's done, you then have access to the clan's dojo. Inside the dojo you have access to several rooms, in particular the research labs. On these labs is where you can donate resources to ongoing research and where you can purchase blueprints that have already been researched. There are four types of lab available, the corpus lab, the grenier lab, the infested lab and the tano lab. The Grenier Lab is where we can find the blueprint for the Argonac we saw earlier. The Dojo is also a place to trade with other players. To start trading you need to have at least Mastery Rank 2. Just find someone to trade with and invite them into your Dojo or they can invite you to theirs. Then you need to access the trading posts and select the player you want to trade with. You can trade for a lot of things, mods, prime parts, relics, even platinum, which is what most of the people trade for. One thing to note here is that there is a trade tax. You will need to pay some credits to perform a trade, so make sure you have them in advance or the trade cannot be completed. There is also a limit on the number of trades per day which you can perform. This maximum number of trades is directly tied to your mastery rank. You can also trade in a place called Maru's Bazaar. Located in Mars, this is another place to trade with other players. Over there you can set up shop and present items you wish to sell. Just press your gear wheel button to set up the shop and select the items you wish to present to other players. Since we're in Maru's Bazaar, let me tell you about another service that Maru can perform. She can exchange items called Ayatan Sculptures into decent amounts of Endo. Ayatans are items you can find randomly in the world and they're worth some Endo. You can further increase their endo value by inserting some special items into the sculpture itself. These items are called Ayatan Stars and you can find them in containers. Inserting these stars into the Ayatan statues can be performed from your mod menu. After you're done with the sculpture, you can just take them back to Maru and she will exchange them for Endo. Maru also offers a weekly mission that will always get you a sculpture. To finish up the topic of trading, you can find other people to trade with on the trade chat, you can go to the official forums trading section, some special subreddits dedicated to trading in Warframe or even a website called warframe.market. This last one is a good place to at least check the average price of an item you wish to sell or buy. 
That concludes the video on clans and trading. Next time we will be talking about factions and the different damage types. Until then, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time.